Who wouldn't love to have a delightful little picnic while watching a double sunset? Just like the one featured on Tatooine in the early moments of the first Star Wars film. But is it even possible for a planet to exist in a multiple star system, let alone one capable of supporting life as we know it? Liquid water, thick but not too thick atmosphere, stable stellar dynamics, etc. Sure, well, maybe. So can we really find life on other planets with binary stars? Let's find out. Welcome to Space World. In today's video, we are going to talk about new targets and search for extraterrestrial life, and what's the possibility of discovering alien life there. So if you want to know more about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. Planets can exist in multiple star systems. Astronomers have even observed them. Take Kepler-47c, a planet five times the mass of Earth in a very Earth-like orbit. The only difference is, instead of one star in the center of the system, it has two. Astronomers don't know for sure just how common planets are around multiple star systems. To be fair, we don't know for sure just how common planets are anywhere. But they appear to be just this side of quite numerous. A hundred billion planets with a few billion of them life-friendly in the Milky Way alone. But you just can't plop planets down wherever you feel like it especially when it comes to multiple star systems. The problem, as usual, is gravity. We usually think of gravity as easy. Two things attract each other. Done. Drop something, it falls. Launch a rocket, it doesn't. Sure, there are tides and don't get near black holes, but this is the kind of stuff that dead folks with interesting wigs figured out a long time ago. Gravity is indeed pretty easy when it's just two things interacting. One planet plus one star, you're golden. It's so easy, you can even write down the mathematical solutions of the possible orbits. All sorts of stable configurations. But put in another star, or a third? The situation gets… tricky. All this gravity business means that planets around multiple star systems have only a few orbital options if they intend to stick around. Most potential orbits are unstable. Even the faintest stellar breeze could potentially knock them either out of the system altogether or crashing into another body. To make a system long-term home, a planet has two choices. Either ensure the gravitational pull of one star completely dominates the other, or that their gravitational effects are equal. And that's just for a binary star. Don't get me started on multiples. Take Kepler-47c. The two stars orbit each other very closely and tightly, and the planet itself is rather far out. Far enough, in fact, gravity-wise the planet doesn't even care that there's two stars, because to the planet, the center of the system just looks like a single star, with the combined mass of the two suns, stability achieved. But what does this mean for such a planet's weather and the prospects for life? That's a little more difficult to say since it's hard to make general, broad-brush statements about the possibility of life anywhere, let alone in these kinds of binary systems. While binary systems certainly have a habitable zone where liquid water could potentially exist on the surface of a planet, life might find it difficult to gain a foothold. Orbiting two stars at once, as our friend Kepler-47c does, makes life very elliptical, occasionally bringing the planet out of the zone. Life doesn't take too kindly to frequently freezing over. Orbiting just one star in a binary system? Well, sometimes you'll have two stars in your sky at once, which can be a tad toasty. And sometimes you'll have a star on each face of the planet, ruining the night. And don't forget the double doses of UV radiation and solar flares. So with that kind of instability, erraticism, and irradiation, it's hard to imagine complex life evolving with the kind of regularity it needs. But thankfully, Mother Nature isn't limited by our lack of imagination. So who knows what's out there? Nearly half of sun-like stars are binary. According to new research, planetary systems around binary stars may be very different from those around single stars. This points to new targets in the search for extraterrestrial life forms. Since the only known planet with life, the Earth, orbits the Sun, 
Planetary systems around stars of similar size are obvious targets for astronomers trying to locate extraterrestrial life. However, nearly every second star in that category is actually a binary star, a pair of stars that are gravitationally bound and orbit around each other. A new research result from the University of Copenhagen indicates that planetary systems are formed in a very different way around binary stars than around single stars such as the Sun. The result is exciting since the search for extraterrestrial life will be equipped with several new, extremely powerful instruments within the coming years. This enhances the significance of understanding how planets are formed around different types of stars. Such results may pinpoint places which would be especially interesting to probe for the existence of life, says Professor Jess Christiane Jorgensen, Niels Bohr Institute, University of Copenhagen, who is heading the project. The new discovery is based on observations made by the ALMA telescopes in Chile of a young binary star that is located about 1,000 light years from Earth. The binary star system, NGC 1333-IRAS2A, is surrounded by a disk consisting of gas and dust. The observations can only provide researchers with a snapshot from a point in the evolution of the binary star system. However, the team has complemented the observations with computer simulations reaching both backward and forward in time, and study how dust and gas move towards the disk. The simulations will tell us which physics are at play and how the stars have evolved up till the snapshot we observe, and their future evolution," explains postdoc Rajika L. Kurowita, Niels Bohr Institute, second author of the Nature article. Notably, the movement of gas and dust does not follow a continuous pattern. At some points in time, typically for relatively short periods, often to 100 years every thousand years, the movement becomes very strong. The binary star becomes 10 to 100 times brighter until it returns to its regular state. Presumably, the cyclic pattern can be explained by the duality of the binary star. The two stars encircle each other and, at given intervals, their joint gravity will affect the surrounding gas and dust disk in a way that causes huge amounts of material to fall towards the star. However, the observed stellar system is still too young for planets to have formed. The team hopes to obtain more observational time at ALMA, allowing to investigate the formation of planetary systems. But it's not only planets, as comets will also be in focus. Comets are likely to play a key role in creating possibilities for life to evolve. Comets often have a high content of ice with the presence of organic molecules. It can be well imagined that the organic molecules are preserved in comets during epochs where a planet is barren and that later comet impacts will introduce the molecules to the planet's surface, says Jess Christensen Jorgensen. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share your views with us in the comments below, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos about space. And thank you for watching.